Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Airtable with Slack. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Airtable.com and the fastest way how we can make an integration happen is just to type in search engine Airtable.com slash integrations. Once we are here, there's a couple of integrations that we can choose, choose from that Airtable already provides for us. As you can see, we can go down and there's a Slack. You can click on Slack and as you can see, it's powered by Zapier. So we can go and straight make this, make this integration with Zapier.com. Or we can use this site, it's completely up to you. The second way how we can make this integration happen is through ultimate.eo. Uh, You'll find the link in the description down below. Uh, we also want to go to the top left corner of Automate and we want to go to see all categories. Once we click there, we have a couple of options to pick from. First of all, we want to start and search for starting app. In our case, the starting app is Airtable. Uh, we use the left mouse button to press an Airtable. And the second one uh, will be Slack. We click on Slack and as you can see, uh, Automate will provide for us some popular integrations or we can create our own integration. Uh, there are two triggers uh, that we, uh, we want to start with. It's either new record or update a record. We are not interested in uh, this one because it starts with Slack and we want to start with Airtable. So let's go to new record and then uh, we have to pick an action. So in this case, we can pick from five of those, uh, for example, search a user. So this is a trigger and this is an action. We can try it now and then we just logged in. We just log in to Automate and we just complete or finish our in, uh, integration. The other way is, as I said before, it's Zapier.com. Once we create an account at Zapier.com, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a Zap. We get redirected and as you can see, you can start with uh, naming your Zap, like Airtable to Slack, for example, we press enter. And same as at, uh, Air, uh, same as at Automate, we start with, uh, with Airtable here. We press uh, Airtable and continue, trigger event, one of those three, let's go with the first one. Press continue. Now we have to choose an account that we created a couple of minutes ago. Let's go with Airtable, continue. And now we just uh, we just have to set up a trigger according uh, the researches or the workspace that we are using at Airtable. Let's go like this. And we press continue. Now we can uh, test our trigger. Or we can go to the second action and where we are going to press on Slack. We choose Slack. Uh, we also need to set up an action event as, as, as a reminder and sign into Slack. That's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.